Well, a lot of people say to me, you have some beautiful buildings here, lovely colleges, historical buildings. Is there anything else to do in Oxford? Well, there is, believe it or not. And I'm about to show you. And for all you good people that enjoy our vlogs from Tenerife and the likes of Skiathos, Mallorca, those sort of places, we will be going back out there next year, hopefully, fingers crossed. We'll be going to Tenerife in January. So hopefully do some good vlogs for you there. In the meantime, enjoy this one. Let's go and visit the Oxford Castle Mound. So I'm going to try and take you up on the, uh, the mound there, just so that you get, can get an idea on the view of Oxford from that uh, point of view. So the Oxford Mound and the Oxford Castle and Prison. And that's a Victorian prison. And it's now been converted into a hotel, Malmaison. Due to the uh, coronavirus restrictions at the moment, I'd like to take you up there, but I'm not allowed. It's as close as I can get. So this is um, what was once Oxford Prison and it's now the Malmaison. So you've got castle unlocked, where you can go inside and visit the crypts and so on. That's over there. That's the hotel. And up there behind all that, uh, I'm not sure if that's wisteria, but that's uh, what would have been the governor's residence. So um, I've taken you down this trip before in one of my previous vlogs, but I thought I'd just do it again. This would have been the main gate to the uh, Oxford prison. I won't do the Norman Fletcher bit again. People don't know this, but just over there where that pub is, there's an alleyway. And if you walk down that little alleyway, that'll take you all the way to the Westgate. Should we do it? So we're just coming up from Castle Street and this brings you into the Westgate Centre. I remember the first Westgate Centre being built so it gives away my age a little bit.
it's probably going to be the last sunny day we get this summer. Well, I say that's hot and sunny. What a lovely view. Well, they've got loads of lovely restaurants. It's a nice hot summer's day today. Nice blue sky. Do you know how tiring this really is? I'm doing this for you. Right, well folks, uh, this is somewhere I go on a regular basis. Just there, it's called the Art Cafe. And that's where they do lovely baguettes, just like this one. And who is he, you may ask? Well, I'll tell you something. His name is Bill. Say hello to Bill. Hi. And uh, we actually went on, on a long walk yesterday. This is my mum's husband. So just give us a quick wave there, Bill. Good to hello. see you. And just by chance, I've just uh, bumped into him. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to a C of E school, St. Teb school. And this is one of the churches I attended as, as a schoolboy. And this is St. Teb's church. It seems these uh, telephone boxes are coming in handy. I remember seeing something like this in Stratford-upon-Avon. And uh, we'll take a closer look at this. Wow, just look at that. So this place is called Brown's Calf, and this is where all the traffic wardens used to congregate. I didn't like traffic wardens for some reason. Hey, just look at that. This is looking from South Park's Oxford, the city of dream inspires. It's another one of Oxford's attractions. Not a thing you see every day. And here we have the William Morris garages. So I've been coming here for years. It's absolutely beautiful here. University Parks. changed shape quite a few times over the years. I think it's been extended. This is one angle and this is the other angle. Beautiful. So now 
now I'm going to be taking you to St Giles. St Giles is one of the biggest streets in Oxford and not only that, every September normally we'd have St Giles Fair. Unfortunately that couldn't happen this time due to the coronavirus. But anyway, we'll give you a glimpse of it just so that you can get some idea. To be honest with you, I can do that now. So it would sort of stem from here and on the other side as well. And then if we just go to the left, well, you can't see the whole of the street, but it goes all the way down. So you've got the lemon flag over that side. And over here, I think it was the eagle and child. Yes, it is. So there we have the Martis Memorial and the Randolph Hotel behind that. And to the right, we have the Ashmolean Museum. The famous Randolph Hotel. This is the Ashmolean Museum reputably the oldest museum in the world. Here we have the Oxford Town Hall and see that little balcony just there. Robert Maxwell, he made a speech on that balcony when Oxford United beat QPR in the Milk Cup final many years ago. Well, it's certainly changed a bit since I was uh, here as a schoolboy. Um, just take a look around there. Look again, that's Meadow Gate or Meadow Gate Hall, and that will take you into the Christchurch Cathedral. And behind me, just there, that's Deer Park. Can you see how many squirrels there are here? We used to have red ones here too back in the day, but unfortunately, not so many many these days. Well, the river's a bit high at the moment because uh, we've had some heavy rain over the weekend. But here we go, there's the, um, the Wargrave. I remember that boat. That's the boat that I used to DJ on. Right in the middle, there's a little box there. And all I remember is on rainy days, the needle on the record, because we used to use uh, vinyl then, would just slide across the record. It was so embarrassing. Okay, well, I'm, uh, I'm dodging the puddles at the moment, trying to film at the same time. So, this place behind me here, that's Folly Bridge. And you may remember in one of the other videos I did, punting in Oxford where to go. That was one of the places uh, I recommended. But when you get the river up as high as this, I don't think it's going to happen. Take a look at this. I wouldn't want to get too close. I've just stopped for a minute just to show you this because there you can see in all its glory Christchurch College, Tom Tower you've got the Meadowgate building there and that spire is the cathedral So how do you get out of this place? Let's try this way So this is in the um, opposite direction and just at the bottom, just over there you'll see Alice's shop, Lewis Carroll's Alice's shop from Alice in Wonderland and that's been there since 1950 often wondered who cut this grass there he is now, oh, I remember a sword being here somewhere in the, um, the paving slabs 
Let's see if we can find it. Oh, there it is. My sword I give to him that shall succeed me in my pilgrimage. And there it is. Been there a while. So folks, as you can see, there's plenty to see and do here in Oxford besides visiting colleges and historic buildings. So get yourself down here, take a look for yourself. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.